Arcangelo Corelli. Arcangelo Corelli was an Italian violinist and composer of the Baroque era. His music was key in the development of the modern genres of sonata and concerto, in establishing the preeminence of the violin, and as the first coalescing of modern tonality and functional harmony. Baptismal records indicate that Corelli was born on February 17, 1653 in the small Romagna town of Fusignano, then in the Diocese of Ferrara, Papal States. His family were landowners who had lived in Fusignano since 1506. A Corelli moved to the area from Rome in the 15th century. Although apparently prosperous, they were almost certainly not of the nobility, as several fanciful accounts of the composer's genealogy subsequently claimed. Corelli's father, from whom he took the name Arcangelo, died five weeks before the composer's birth. Consequently, he was raised by his mother, Santa, alongside four elder siblings. The wealth of anecdotes and legends attached to Corelli contrasts sharply with the paucity of reliable contemporary evidence documenting events in his life. This gap is especially pronounced for his formative years, including his musical education, even though traditional accounts of a highly idealized childhood have long been debunked. According to the poet Giovanni Mario Christian Benny, who presumably knew the composer well, Corelli initially studied music under a priest in the nearby town of Faenza, and then in Lugo before moving in 1666 to Bologna. A major center of musical culture of the time, Bologna had a flourishing school of violinists associated with Ercole Gaibara and his pupils, Giovanni Benvenuti and Leonardo Brugnoli. Reports by later sources link Corelli's musical studies with several master violinists, including Benvenuti, Brugnoli, Bartolomeo Laurenti, and Giovanni Battista Bassani. Although historically plausible, these accounts remain largely unconfirmed, as does the claim that the papal contralto Matteo Simonelli first taught him composition. A remark Corelli later made to a patron suggests that his musical education focused mainly on the violin. Chronicles of the Accademia Philharmonica of Bologna indicate that Corelli was accepted as a member by 1670, at the exceptionally young age of 17. The credibility of this attribution has been disputed. Although the nickname Il Bolognese appears on the title pages of Corelli's first three published sets off works, the duration of his stay in Bologna remains unclear. Anecdotes of trips outside Italy to France, Germany and Spain lack any contemporary evidence. For example, the anecdote that Corelli's continental fame stemmed from a trip to Paris at the age of 19, where he was chased away by an envious Jean-Baptiste Lully, seems to have originated with Jean-Jacques Rousseau. It was also claimed that Corelli spent time in Germany in the service of Maximilian II Emanuel, Elector of Bavaria, as well as in the house of his friend and fellow violinist composer Cristiano Farinelli. Although it is unclear quite when Corelli arrived in Rome, he was certainly active there by 1675, when Arcangelo Bolognese was engaged to play as one of the supporting violinists in Lenten oratorios at the Church of San Giovanni dei Fiorentini as well as in the French national celebrations held each year on 25th of August at San Luigi dei Francesi and during the ordination of a member of the powerful Chigi family at San Di Domenico e Sisto. In August 1676, he was already playing second violin to the renowned Carlo Manetli at San Luigi dei Francesi. Although Rome did not have any permanent orchestra providing stable employment for instrumentalists, Corelli rapidly made a name for himself, playing in a variety of ensembles sponsored by wealthy patrons such as Cardinal Benedetto Pamphili, for whom he played in Lenten oratorios at San Marcello from 1676 to 1679. In 1687 Corelli led the festival performances of music for Queen Christina of Sweden. He was also a favorite of Cardinal Pietro Otto Boni, grandnephew of another Cardinal Pietro Otto Boni, who in 1689 became Pope Alexander VIII. From 1689 to 1690 he was in Modena. The Duke of Modena was generous to him. In 1708 he returned to Rome, living in the palace of Cardinal Otto Boni. His visit to Naples, at the invitation of the king, took place in the same year. The style of execution introduced by Corelli and preserved by his pupils, such as Francesco Geminiani, Pietro Locatelli, Pietro Castrucci, Francesco Gasparini, and others, was of vital importance for the development of violin playing. It has been said that the paths of all of the famous violinist composers of 18th century Italy led to Arcangelo Corelli, who was their iconic point of reference. However, Corelli used only a limited portion of his instrument's capabilities. This may be seen from his writings. 
The parts for a violin very rarely proceed above on the highest string, sometimes reaching the E in fourth position on the highest string. The story has been told and retold that Go rarely refused to play a passage tad extended to A in altissimo in the overture to Handel's oratorio The Triumph of Time and Truth, and felt seriously offended when the composer played the note. Nevertheless, his compositions for the instrument mark an epoch in the history of chamber music. His influence was not confined to his own country. Johann Sebastian Bach studied the works of Corelli and based an organ fugue on Corelli's Opus 3 of 1689. Handel's Opus 6 Concerti Grossi take Corelli's own older Opus 6 Concerti as models, rather than the later three movement Venetian Concerto of Antonio Vivaldi favored by Bach. Musical society in Rome also owed much to Corelli. He was received in the highest circles of the aristocracy, and for a long time presided at the celebrated Monday concerts in the palace of Cardinal Otto Boni. Corelli died in Rome in possession of a fortune of 120,000 marks and a valuable collection of works of art and fine of violins, the only luxury in which he had indulged. He left both to his benefactor and friend, who generously made over the money to Corelli's relatives. Corelli is buried in the Pantheon at Rome. His concerti grossi have often been popular in Western culture. For example, a portion of the Christmas Concerto, Opus 6 No. 8, is in the soundtrack of the film, and Go Rally's Opus 6 No. 2 also provided the theme for Sir Michael Tippett's Fantasia Concertante on the theme of Corelli. Corelli composed 48 trio sonatas, 12 violin and continuo sonatas, and 12 concerti grossi. Six sets of twelve compositions, published between 1888 and 1891 by Chrysander, are authentically ascribed to Corelli, together with a few other works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.